Stunning views high above Western North Carolina. But these images didn't come from NASA. Believe it or not, they come courtesy of a high school student here in Asheville. That's right, a student's science project went to new heights, and judging by the results, he has set the bar pretty high, literally, for his classmates. News 13's John Lee tells us about the ambitious mission that took so many twists and turns. But most of all, I learned about just systems design. How do you keep a budget, and how do you get everything to fit and work properly? I James McNichols had this earthly idea. This is Calvin 1. This is Thinking inside the box. This is our flight computer. This is the view during the epic balloon launch as the senior project takes off at Carolina Day. That's James' favorite comic character, Calvin, right in front. We had an ascent rate of 700 feet per second. Tracked for three and a half hours, it maxed out with an altitude of nearly 105,000 feet. Came over Lake Norman and then right over Kannapolis, it burst right at the top of the flight path. Uh, and then it fell fast. And here's the balloon as it popped, sending Calvin 1 on a downward spiral. That's when key equipment comes into play. It's a high altitude GPS. I was absolutely terrified. Um, I mean, we, we, we'd done everything we could, but there was a very real chance that we would never hear from it again. Using software, the team able to forecast where Calvin would land. 150 miles almost exactly as the crow flies. Students took off in five cars toward the Greensboro area. The backup plan, a $50 reward, unnecessary. The first chase car within, you know, parked and was within 200 yards of it within three minutes of it touching down. And actually, it landed in the top of a tree. Um, we got the property owner. It was a, the tree was dead. He came and cut, cut it down for us. Sadly, one casualty. The only damage that it sustained coming down from the tree is the little Calvin that you see in the videos. The Calvin character lost in the name of science. It was an incredibly cool experience. In Asheville, John Lee, News 13. That's unbelievable. Yeah, you know, he's a high school, it? right? And he, wow. That mm. James flight was made possible by donations from parents. He says in college, he wants to launch a mini satellite. Now, Maybe that'll be a weather satellite. Oh, I was going to say, Jason, you're a science guy. I mean, <laughs> you've done these projects. Did yours even approach? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, used to shoot rockets off, but <laughs> I never, you know, I thought about attaching cameras to all yeah, this stuff, yeah. the balloons and such. That's pretty cool. I keep watching it over there, and you got to get, gives you vertigo if you stare at it too long. Yeah. All right, well, today's numbers. Uh,